Yeah. And speaking of time well spent, GH on this Coddle has a triple stack. He has not missed a stack on the big camp at the left and a double stack on his medium camp. There is a lot of farm awaiting this Coddle and Brewmaster when they fall back in the jungle. So they're winning the lanes while stacking camps. Yeah, and thinking about that, being able to take it later, the cooldown reduction on the clap as well. It does look like Fender is going to move in again, is being revealed by that ward, so they realize that this was happening. Still does have Astral, going to use it now onto the Sniper, thinking about turning here. Wants to maybe get aggressive with Kuro in the area, and Miracle sensing a little bit of weakness. Has he overextended? He is going to go down. Freeze drawing first blood. You can hear the adoration of the crowd. Yeah, Miracle just deciding not to back down. Knew yes. there was all this good 700 net worth ahead of the Lifestealer. Tons of farm on the brew. And he the, can find kills soon, even. I mean, theoretically, this is part of the reason why you would pick that bounty hunter as well, to go in and scout those out. Yep. But meanwhile, ROTK over here in the top lane. They bring in FY, going to commit the stampede for this. They are going to be able to find that kill. And maybe GH to go down as well. Kuroki trying to save the day. It's not going to be enough. They are going to bring down ROTK, but... Well, it's a big price to pay. That is such an important kill. That brew was getting out of About control. Using it. Stampede. Tough kill. He's so tanky. They want the support. They take the free one. All right. Well, Can't blame him there. I legit think they would not have killed Mind Control. I mean, if he pops an ultimate, they definitely don't kill him. And they can't kill him during the, the, the uh, disable. So they're probably aware that, hey, if he pops ultimate, this, this game's wasted. We want to guarantee a trap kill. Oh my god. FY. Putting the screws to Matumba Man there. I got to be a little bit careful, Timbersaw. Oh, yeah, that's. FY got an action. Early hood, so he's not necessarily looking to force fights too early on. So, does suggest a slower, more late game oriented play oh. from both teams. Maybe this is the moment things turn around at least a little bit. Liquid moving into the area. They have the blink dagger up and online. Smoke going to be broken. They jump forward. Find Fenrir. Hit the ulti as well. They're on top of him. Matumba Man not quite able to find the kill. They do get it there. Mind Control picking it up with that boulder. And now it's time to get out at least. Oh, well, no. They decide to turn. Fight back into ROTK. They take him down in spite of the shrine just outside of the healing now. And looking for freeze. Can they bring him down? FY trying to make the most of this. He steals Root Split. Going to try and turn it against them now, but already three are dead. Is he really going to be able to do enough? If he can possibly bring down this OD, it would be some semblance of a turnaround. They get the lift up onto the Ogre as well. Another boulder getting tossed out, but I don't know if they're going to be able to take him down. FY needs to be careful now. And out of it, they get the Fire Blast onto the Rubik, looking for the chase. They are going to Still be able astral. to run him down. Okay, won't get... Oh, uh, well, aggressive here, as well as Fenrir. They end up getting the jerk and toss. They turn it back around and take down two. Three go down for Liquid. Wow, FY, what a player. That fight went so bad for Vici at the start, but the brew split still changed absolutely everything. It gave them an initial kill on the Timbersaur. It allowed them to continue chasing for more. And then to finish it off, he's like in a 1v3 scenario. It looks like, okay, he's going to lose the Bruce split. Fight's over. FYI, your, your fun's over. No, he steals Astral, which he self-astrals, buys time for his team to show up to get a couple more kills. And it could it's... definitely go into the way of Vichy yeah. J if they're not careful. Not the... It was a wasted... I, I say wasted. I mean, ROTK thought he could save the Bounty Hunter there. That It was like the long-range boulder toss that actually ended up getting the kill. Well, they're going to be able to control Matumba Man again. The chase continues in some trouble. Is going to be able to deal out a good bit of damage there to ROTK. Trying to dodge away, but he is going to fall. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, they're going He's here and it. able to take down Freeze. Well played there. Mind Control going to drop as well as ROTK makes the escape. Liquid is trying to secure them a Roche if possible. Oh, and ROTK, he didn't end up casting on himself this time. He's going to be on top of ROTK here, trying to bring them low. They get the stun. The right click oh. damage is going to be there enough. They get the lift up and actually able to steal the Astral, turn it back against them. He survived. Oh, after away. He is going to be able to walk out of this one, trying to get down the aggressive. They are going to be able to find that kill. Now for more fair. No, he life steal. He jumped inside of Fenrir, able to escape. Oh, the plays are really real here. Uh, their detection, they've got dust. Now Fenrir starting to drop low. Aggressive turns to fight, but it's just going to rage out. But great play there by Aggressive. And Fenrir, presence of mind to get close so that he can jump inside of him. Oh, Miracle too aggressive, my friend. Maybe it's some trouble now. Ends up going for the self Astro, but they're going to be all on top of him as soon as they come out of here. He smelt freeze, but FY so fast with the instant lift pulls him into the base under the tier three towers and they want more astral there on to matumba man now he does have his chakra mount rage is going to be down low can they take down this tanky timber saw there trying to kill him off four staff 
I'm trying to get away, but I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. They get the blinding light pushbacks. That's oh, going to be this as well. They got the Astral again. Now they need to fight this if they wanted any self. But no, it's not going to happen. But Tumble Man goes down and save your buddy Syndrome. It strikes again as Kuro falls. Three dead. BGJ. Next Rage could be the other half of that HP. Yeah, they really want this one. Oh, he's low mana though. He can't move up to the high ground right now at least. He's going to wait that mana leak to wear off. Team Liquid do not want to give up Arax at this come. point. They're going to go in for it. The right clicks are there, trying to jump in. They back haven't been able to catch him. They don't get the ulti off as of yet. They are going to be able to bring down Mind Control. He has buyback, but Kuro's already gone as well as Matumbo Man in some trouble. They're going to pull him back out, but they do manage to save those barracks at least for now. Astral set up. Uh oh, he's in some trouble. They're going to go for it now. They get the Hurricane Pike off. He ends up going for another self Astral. Aggressive on top of GH, able to force Staff away. They're on top of him yet again. He's already gone. Miracle might need to buy back, but it would be such a huge investment for this fight. They're trying to take down anybody if they can, but another Astral. FY saving him from the go-through, and they're able to get out again. They don't have to force this, but they want kills. They know they're 5v3. Well, jump forward. FY catches another in that Astral. He's able to dodge away from the tons of land damage. Mind control is going to be tracked. They jump forward, go for the ultimate. Finally committed now. Can they find any kills? Freeze. Four stabbed away, he ends up throwing the chakra. It's gonna connect just on the very tip, and it does look like Freeze able to walk away. He's in the shadow blade. They don't have vision. They're not gonna be able to see them, and well, they are gonna be able to bring down FY. That's at least something. The stampede with the Aghanims. They're just running the hell out of here. Get us away. And it looks like VGJ might just be able to do that. Oh, Miracle knows with all the buybacks with the lost racks, they gotta chase and find more. They may just be able to get aggressive here, but he gets the infest. Inside Fender, they finally find the dust, okay. trying to jump out. Everybody just is gonna force that him away. And they find one, they find two. Liquid find some solace in this game. Slight solace. They did not get the most gold for those kills because Miracle was still affected by the buyback penalty. So not gonna scale too much further, I guess, is one good thing. But OD can still get a lot more in the way of items. He's got a BKB slot, a Jibber slot, or a Refresher slot. Like, he can do a lot more as this game, if this game drags. Oh, is the Sheep Stick used as well? Matumba Man is out there. They're sending out a Centaur just to stomp up Fender for the moment. But a Stomp going to be able to connect another four step, keeping that Coddle alive for the moment. But no, he's going to drop it. They're all over him at this point. Forced to use it. They are going to use the Bruce Split over here to the side. Maybe he can be able to get the lift up on our ROTK. Matumbo Man also there. Can deal a good bit of damage if they can stay on top of one. But they're just actually back on top of him. ROTK, he found the initiation on the Miracle. He is going to fall. Keeping away in the back lines was Freeze. But four heroes potentially going to go down as Matumbo Man is being controlled and right clicked. Another Astral saving him for the moment. Well played there, but they're on top of him. Good sheep stick as well. Matumbo Man out of the base for the moment. Throws out the chakra. They're trying to chase, trying to kill, and they do find that one. Just well, too much. It really is too much at this point. No buyback on Brew. OD just commit his. Even if you somehow hold, it just feels like Liquid's in a close to unwinnable position. They've just invested too much for this defense. They've Chewed through the mana of the life steal. They need to find kills here. Pushing back BG Gaming is not enough. Getting kills is a necessity. Oh my god, the big stains Eclipse able to bring down one. They're so low right now, but because of the bonus, who's they know they took down one? All right, Ben, they're gone. Ball. Possibly going to be able to take down RTK as well. They got the chakra out, and Miracle on the other side was able to take down FY. Three are already done. RTK trying to get out, Blink Dagger up, he blinks the other way, nice play there to the side, regen. picks up the regen to boot, why not, ROTK with the luck on his side here. Okay. Now in towards the mid lane and it looks like they actually want to set up for a fight, the tower is already down so they have vision inside of it, they pop the ulti there on top of GH, he's gone, buys back immediately, Miracle, Hurricane Pike trying to escape, is going to go inside of that and the brutal ulti does come out as well. Trying to turn this, but BKBs are popped all around. Matumbo Man in miracle. the midst of all of them. Can they kill off Miracle? He's so, so low. He gets another Astra dodging away from the Assassinate. Needs to force that as soon as he's out. Nice Link? Link away. Well played there. Maybe they've gone too deep here as they're trying to look to pick up a I couple think they kills have here. Miracle. They did it. No, way too deep here. Aggressive. He's exposed. 
controlled for the moment. They're still stunned up. Hex now down on top of him. Golden they were able split. to steal it. And this is an Aghanim split as well. Can FY do enough with it? Another Astral trying to save Miracle. The four steps have been so clutch for Liquid throughout this, but they're fighting almost under the tier fours at this point. Aggressive has Kuroki in a corner, able to find the kill with the Infest come out as well. And now Matumbo Man tries to take down Aggressive. Mind control there again. Right clicks coming through. The drop, the Sanity's Eclipse. He ends it. up stealing it. He turns it back around. It's an Aghanim's Eclipse. Oh my gosh. The Ags are the ulti. It does something lyrical. <laughs> and here Reddit it. told me it was the worst Ags upgrade in the game. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and Aggressive going to be four stopped forward. He turns now onto the barracks. Eyes on the prize. That's what they should have done perhaps earlier, but I think they're still in a position where there's some wiggle room to at least get this second set of racks. Question is, can they get more? Oh, looking for more. They actually Ooh. pop the Lincoln Sphere, but he's going to be controlled for the moment. And is he going to also get out that Ghost Scepter? So fine for the moment. They're on top of him. Aggressive takes down the melee. Miracle in some Great trouble. E -blade. Another E-Blade from two separate teammates is going to keep him alive. But they do finally bring down Miracle. Buys back. And now BTJ realized they cannot stick around yeah. too much longer. A little bit too aggressive. He did not want to throw away his buyback that freely, but he thought he could make that flashy play, buy some time and space, wasn't able to do it, and bad news is, Aegis is still up. Yeah, going in for the tier three tower in the bottom lane now. I mean, they can blast Illuminate all they want, but if you're Magic Immune, you don't really care all that much. There is no BKB on the Life Sealer, giving him just the rage to work around. I mean, the fact that they've got this and Lincoln's on top of him, and all of those four stats, well, it's just so frustrating to deal with, I'm sure. He's a menace right now, and Centaur throws Return Aura into the mix. He's hit level 25, so we're seeing more level 25s come into play. Mana Leak now stolen by the Rubik as well. Another great spell for this guy to use. Yeah, that's actually brutal for the for the Matu to deal with on his uh, Timber Soul. He doesn't have a Lotus Orb or anything to get rid of it. Are going to be able to go in again aggressive. Raid He's ignoring this. heroes. He's hitting towers. Objective gaming. And they need to find some other way to make this Masu's work. Masu's out of mana here, too. He's going to be very careful how he plays it. They're on top of him. There's the stun. Able to push him away again. They're on top of GH now. Four step away. Still fine. That's going to be the Panda ulti as well used. Controlling freeze for the moment. They're lifting up ROTK. Does look like they're going to have to call it good for there, though. And this is Panda ulti down. ROTK lifted again. But Tumbo Man is having to stay in place. Now the mana leak. It's so frustrating to deal with. They go in again with the Storm Panda, but aggressive continuing to focus down these objectives. They just do not have an answer for this life stealer. Matumba Man, he just can't do anything. Refresher ulti now is available for yeah. Brewmaster. Gotta use it soon, otherwise they'll just lose another melee racks. All right, aggressive hitting away. They really cannot stop this. Freeze might be vulnerable here, but they get the Lotus Orb onto him, so Sheepstick isn't going to do it. This is their last Rax Lyrical. I don't think they can play against Mega Creeps. They've got to just engage. All right, jump forward, trying to find it. Aggressive is Another there. Rate. They've got Miracle as well. This is not going to be a buyback. If he does go down, they're on top of him, trying to chase. They're going to be able to do a bit more damage, but now they've stolen Astro from Ruik as well. So another saving spell is there. The OD forced to Astro himself for the moment, and man, this Sniper is just doing so much damage in this team fight. ROT a continuing the chase, and there it is. A dieback for Miracle. ROTK, too much of a menace. But Tumba Man running away, but gonna get pulled back in by FY Lifted. And this could potentially be just about it as Freeze just barely alive, but still dealing so much, so much damage. And GG is gonna be called. And you can hear the elation of the crowd. Now, this is. I had hopes for like Beachy Gaming making this a series, but. They came out and played the be best story they played on tournament. I individually, some of the I mean, look at the smiles on these guys' face right here. Is ecstatic right now. These guys just like played the best Dota game they played in a long, long time. And Liquid are probably shell shocked right now. That came out of nowhere. That life stealer from aggressive, flawless. But still, it's the FY Rubik that stole the show. Definitely, really impressive display there. It does beg the question.